Good morning and welcome back. It's another week and we are out in France. We drove out yesterday afternoon, got out here about five-ish, got settled, went out and had a bit of dinner and then we are cracking on this morning. Uh, yeah, I can't remember exactly how much it is, but we've got about three, three and a half miles of hornbeam hedges to cut here. All of it roughly, well you can see the height of the mute there. All of it roughly kind of 10, 10, 12 foot tall, both sides and tops. So we've got our work cut out this week. Um, so stay tuned, keep up with us out here. And then I'm hoping the rest of the boys back at home are still getting some good content for you. So yeah, Monday, let's go. That's how much growth we're taking off. That was a year, year's growth. Tuesday morning. I had a nice bit of rain last night. A little bit this morning, but we're cracking on. We've got most of the sides done yesterday. And the boys are just in the top. Starting off. Another good day. Another couple of lads nearly out here, they're halfway down, so they should be with us by lunch, should be nice. Tuesday afternoon and Nate and Taylor start to work down that back side. It opens the other side of the hedge, starting to uh, match up Taylor's side. Well guys, it is Wednesday morning and it's absolutely hammering down it's um yeah wet one today we're cracking some sides out we came out of that bit we were cutting yesterday with the mutes because apparently that floods and we're forecast about 50 minute rain so yeah just cracking sides on gonna try and do what we can with the mutes off the road and hopefully tomorrow's a better day uh, so last night saw the start of a night, a couple of night shifts for Christian and Nate. Uh, came in late Friday just as we were packing up ready to come out here. Uh, for Gossett, Tree Care, uh, NRE are up there with their Merlot. They needed some chip removal done. So uh, the TM runs from 10, 10, a, 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. Um, so the boys are getting up there for 10, clearing up what the Merlot cut the night before, chipping and running back. So last night, I think um, they've got two loads back. They might've got three. I'm not sure, I haven't heard from them yet. So I guess they're still asleep, having a catch up. But yeah, he's on, he's on charge of uh, getting content for that. So hopefully he's got some good bits there for you guys to see now.
place in there, Luke. Don't drop it. Found a bit of cover under this uh, line of London planes. So Taylor's working down on that left hand side with the mute doing the tops. John is coming down this right hand side. He's working down here, sides have been done. So they're just doing the top edge and the very top. bit of firm ground so the mutes aren't making a mark whereas the lawns, the rest of the lawns are sitting pretty wet at the moment so hopefully this will see us out today and we get a bit better weather tomorrow
So Taylor's just completed a bit of deadwood in. Um, we've literally had 24 hours of non-stop rain out here. So all the lawns are kind of out of bounds. Everything's sodden. So we're just trying to find bits to do off the hard tracks just to keep the machines busy and the boys busy. Uh, we've just got another couple of hedges to do which are on the paths. We're going to get them done. So we've got a quick update of the French job here. We're up and out pretty early. Boys are cracking on with the top over there. Hopefully not long until they get that section smashed out. And then that is another whole block done, which would be good. And then uh, moving on to the next. So it is Friday. Sun is still out, which is nice. Boys are cracking on. Uh, me and Nate are getting on a train at six this evening, so we'll be leaving here around two-ish to get back up to Calais and get on that. We're going to leave Taylor, Matt and John out here cracking on. I'm hoping we'll get them back midweek next week when they're all done. But the sides are going, tops need doing, good progress being made and hopefully the weather stays with us. And I must make a quick apology for how dreadful I've sounded this week. Uh, the day we got out here, I got hit with scabby old cold, which I'm blaming James for. So, yeah, it's been a bit blocked up this week, so apologies for that. See there the contrast of what we're taking off down through that plain avenue is all done the sides are done through here we just got to go through the tops and then that's the top half pretty much done i think bar this u we've got to take the tops of that and the top half of the sides off square that back off So just another update from the French team. Hedges are still going, slowly but surely. Making our way around the water garden now. Um, and yeah, got this little section to finish off here. We'll probably call it for a lunch break. The end is finally in sight guys. This here is the last stretch of all the hornbeam located. Got a patch over there, that's all complete. 
patches over there done. And this is the last bit. We've got John just finishing up these uh, these balls in the middle, getting them complete. And hopefully that's us all finished. Here we are down at Tyshurst. Machine is finished forwarding out the brush. It is exceptionally dirty. So we're just gonna take these tracks off quick. We are gonna have to take them off, put them back on again, where it's going up the road, but they aren't gonna do that floor much use. So we have to um, take them off, put them in the back of the mog, try and get a bit of this dirt off so I don't fall out on the road. And then we'll be uh, up the road to a neighbouring estate to the yard to um, extract some ash lock and top. Bit of damage over there. Gather there's quite a bit down at the landing site, but um, it's repairable and uh, it'll need a good bit of drying out now and uh, we'll make good of that once we finish getting all the wood out and the chip out and after I've done this I will come back and get the digger and that's going back to the yard for a well-earned bath so I'm just walking through the second field now down to the site and um, it doesn't actually appear too bad it looks it but ironically it's so wet the rain is actually sort of punching it back in there's there's a lot of sheep out here as well so they'll they'll puddle it in much like what used to happen in the olden times when they used to puddle clay in the bottom of ponds that's why you get things i'm led to believe called padfoot rollers because they mimic what the sheep would have done before they've invented so if they can walk around and stroll on this a lot they'll probably just tread a lot of this damage back in I'm just going to um, stop recording and flip the camera around they won't however tread this back in that's going to need the sides pulling in with uh, with a digger gently and um, having a good roll some of that's almost a foot deep but you can probably hear that I'm just squelching with every footstep but I mean there's water running through that one there actually flowing through that tram line but for the most part it has it hasn't wrecked the actual turf so it'll actually stitch back together quite nicely here i think up the landing site though i'm just walking into that field now that is likely to be puddled puddled to be on all recognition so that that's going to need a bit more uh, thinking about so there we have uh, on the left a stack of the poplar which uh, came down with uh, the merlot that was just on the start largely uh, of the job in the gateway oh and there was a couple of bits in the valley in the river just the other side of that bank so they came up from there. This is all the logwood, mix of uh, alder and ash for the most part. A few other little bits and pieces in there, but mainly ash and alder. There's another, another wee stack of it there. Probably two lorry loads just in that one stack. And there's another stack behind as well. I think Callum probably forded that bit out and I did the stack behind this one. But here we go, this is all the chip. This 
is the sum total of all the chip. And I wouldn't mind betting that is two rows deep. Got a bit dirty. Um, it won't be so much of an issue. Kind of clean ground here. It's not stony. It'll have a bit of chance to get rained on. Wash it clean a bit. And I think we'll just have to be a bit careful when we're chipping to make sure we don't end up putting anything that's too dirty in there. That pile there, that, that's just gonna have to go for a, a little fire. But yeah, this is the extent of the damage down here. Good rake with a digger when it's dry. Blade it off, track it in. Put a seed on top, that will come right. It's just amazing to think that three weeks ago when I was here forwarding out when we first got the little timber trailer for the tractor I was kicking up dust here and now it looks like the Somme more water flowing through there quite incredible Hopefully, it'd be really nice to get some before, well, get get some footage of this when it's dried out and reinstated and going green again. But that is a wrap for this one, for now. Wash off for the digger. Steve's going to go and try and enter the JCB digger acrobatics squad, I think. Here she goes, out the yard. bus but it's home it's had a wash off we're gonna head to site and get some chipping done I don't think you're gonna get to see that this week but next week we'll get a bit of footage of this pushing out and a bit of chipping in 
So guys, that is all for this week. Uh, sorry it's a bit short and sorry it's probably a bit boring. It's just mainly hedges in France. Um, no one else seems to be able to get any content when I'm not in the country. So next week will be better, I promise. Uh, you'll see a bit more of this trailer. I think we need to do a bit of paint. Uh, we're going to go out chipping this afternoon, so that will be in next week's. So thank you for watching. Again, apologies, we'll make sure we're better next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.